Okay, just a quick little follow-up to that first video segment I was showing. Uh, this is just my uh, Weather Underground page. This is based on my Davis uh, weather station and a different anemometer on my house, about four or 500 feet away from the shed where the uh, turbine and the uh, in-speed vortex anemometer is mounted. So obviously some differences there, but um, these two graphs here show the wind conditions for today. Um, it's hard to tell the scale there, but the top number is 40 miles an hour. Uh, so we'll be getting some gusts up there, not quite to 40, but mid-30s uh, have been rising throughout the day. Uh, and this one is wind direction. Uh, the top bar is north. Uh, this second bar here with kind of the more uh, separated dots is west. So kind of illustrating what I've uh, indicated before, a pretty variable wind that seems to be gusting uh, out of both of those directions. So it may well be that um, th that larger tail might help with that, but it's certainly not a situation where I've got straight line winds and it is turning out of the wind without some help from Mother Nature here. There are some significant flip-flopping of the gusts here, um, and it's responding to that, but I suspect you see how frequent that is. That's fairly unusual for my area, um, particularly for higher wind days. It tends to be more stable, so um, kind of an interesting phenomenon there, uh, but the wind turbine isn't exactly standing out in that sort of condition where that wind is variable it seems to um, move back and forth and cutting back on its ability to produce those uh, rpms but if ted 5000s to be believed i'm tracking here both my uh, solar panels in the red line and the wind turbine output in the orange i haven't been able to find out a lot about how accurate the ted system is supposed to be um, but it's got some peaks here, 420 watts, 370. And supposedly here, uh, about a half hour ago, um, I've got a uh, 612 watts. So hard to know. Um, I had a 700-some watt reading when I first hooked this up, and I didn't record that data or get a wind speed on it. I'll go back and try to correlate this a little bit later and see if that matches up. But uh, certainly getting some peaks here, um, but just wanted to show that additional data as far as uh, the wind conditions.